Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on one of these little, it's called a bicycle wheel uh, ring, wreath ring, sorry, that I picked up at Dollar Tree last week. I was so happy that I finally found these. Um, I want to make this thing actually look like a bicycle wheel. So what I'm going to do is, I'm well, the ideal way to do this, let me put it that way, is to spray this with a silver spray paint because I want my spokes in here to be silver. But of course I thought I had silver spray paint. I did not and I wasn't going back out. So I just used some of the home decor, um, no this isn't home decor, this is deco art, uh, dazzling metallic. I'm uh, pretty sure I got this at Michael's. But the best way to do this would be to just spray paint it with some silver spray paint if you want to do the bicycle look. I mean you could make this look like a wagon wheel if you wanted to, or whatever kind of wheel you want to, but I actually want to make it look like a bicycle wheel. So I already painted one with the silver, and then to make the tire look bigger, I'm actually going to be using some of this really thick yarn. This is called, I've had this stuff and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. Um, I actually bought it to do some rims on some hats and things, um, but I never got around to it. And this is what it is called, uh, it's just called Blanket Big. Uh, this is from Michaels too. I'm not sure how much this stuff costs. I got this quite a while ago, but you know, if you always have a find a coupon for Michaels, then you got a much better deal. So this is what I'm going to use, and I'm after you spray paint this silver, you're just going to take this yarn, and all I did was I just put a little hot glue on the back of it. This stuff is really thick, and I just kind of glued it together, and then you are just going to wrap this around. And this took me, I think, about, I want to say about 20 minutes to get all the way around this thing nicely. Um, and you can cut a piece as long as you, you know, want, you know, you're comfortable working with. Um, the ones I used were much longer than this, but it's actually easier if they're shorter. But it, then there's a lot more gluing involved if you make it too short. So anyway, you're just going to keep wrapping that around. And then I kind of tugged it over a little bit to um, make it nice and tight in here and just keep wrapping it until it looks nice and even. You don't want any lumps in it. So that is what you're going to do to make your tire. And you're just going to keep going. And then when you get to your ends, all I did to, when I got to the ends was I put a piece of glue on the, uh, a piece of glue, a drop of hot glue, because this stuff holds really great with just a drop of hot glue. I'm trying to get to the end of this just so I can kind of show you what I did. Um, yeah, the hot glue holds wonderful on this. It just glues together real easy. But anyway, let me get this around here real quick. So all I do is just make sure, if, you know, figure out which side you want to be your front. There's this way, you know, it has like where all the spokes are um, connected here. And I notice this is a little bit bent when you get them. Don't even try to straighten them out because if you do, all these start to pop off the back. I had to glue one back on. So it's just kind of made that way and you're better off just leaving it be. So anyway, I just put a drop of glue back here like this and then just fold that over to the back and you'll never see it like so. So now this is what it looks like when it is all said and done. I'm get my finished one out of here and then you end up with a wheel that looks like this and I think that's so cool. And also in the center here I did find a um, I have a drawer full of nuts and bolts and screws and whatever. And I just went out there and dug through it and found this little nut and bolt thing. I thought this would look good on here. I should have unscrewed this before. Um, you know, to make it look like actual the thing that holds your bicycle wheel on. So I just stuck that through the back here. And these had washers. You don't need to use washers, but they were on there. So I figured I'll just use them anyway. And then there is the center of your bicycle wheel. Look at that. Alright, so now you just need to pick what you want to do. Wait, I want to where, this is where I ended up and I have a big plop of glue back there that I didn't mean to do. So that's where I'm going to put my flowers and things. So then you just need to figure out how you want to decorate it. You could put anything on here you want. Um, I have a bunch of flowers from Dollar Tree. I kind of wanted to do this in a red, white, and blue theme. So I have some of these ferns I'm going to use. and. These are all from, everything here is from Dollar Tree except for the paint and the, um, oh my little nut. You could probably get them at Dollar Tree. And the yarn, that's the only thing that's not from Dollar Tree. These are called Drooping Blooms. Um, these are cornflowers. 
I thought those would look nice. This, I thought I had more than one of these. I only have one. But I want to use this because I think it's real pretty. And this is just called Wildflower. Um, so I'm going to use that on there. And that's pretty much it. And then in the center, I'm going to put two bunches of these on here. And then in the center, I'm going to put this um, red, white, and blue flower. You could even put it in the center if you wanted to. But I'm going to put it in the center of my flowers over here. Um, and this was one of those that was on one of these long stakes. And all I did, it's bent up a little bit in the back, but you're not going to see that. I just bent it back and forth a couple times, and this stake popped right off. It's just a garden stake from Dollar Tree. So I thought that would look pretty in the center of the flower bunches. So that is it. That is just how simple this is to make this little um, bicycle wheel. And I just thought it looked so much more substantial around the edges. It, wasn't, it was just like too skinny around the edge for me. <clears throat> so that is what I'm going to do with that. So now I'm just going to take some of my ferns. I already put a bunch of these together, so hopefully I will get the next bunch here the same. So this is what the first bunch looks like. I'm just going to go on here. And then I want to make another bunch to come down this way. So let's see how that's going to work out. So I have like, these are really nice ferns that they have at Dollar Tree. Hopefully you guys can find these. But I just cut them off. Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll use this fuller side. And then I'll trim the ends off once I'm done and know exactly how long I want everything. What I usually do as I'm going along, I take some of the floral tape just to hold things together for me the way I want them. Um, because you should kind of got to mess with these a little bit to get them going the right way. So we're just going to take those. And... These. That might be a little bit fuller than the top one is. I think I might have to take one of these leaves off. I don't want it to be too full. So there you go. Just pulled one of them off. So. And then let's see. So maybe I'll put this one over here. You just got to mess around with them so you get them going the same direction. Alright. So that's good there. So I'm just going to tape these together so I can keep them where I want them. Or you could use wire, whatever you want to do. I just kind of just bunch it up and put it on there just to hold it for me. And then I used my some of these red flowers, three bunches of these. Um, you can actually just pull these off, I think. I don't know how long I need these. Yeah, you can actually just pull these off because they're very long if you have these flowers. Or whatever flowers you want. I mean, you don't necessarily even have to use Dollar Tree flowers if you don't want to. But I try to make things as, you know, budget friendly as I can. So, we're just going to put those three in here. Kind of going in different sides, and one up the middle. And then I'll just take that tape and wrap that around there to keep me in place. Alright, and then I took these. I wish I had more of these. I actually need another bunch, but that's okay. We're going to make do. You know, all the things I get all the time at Dollar Tree, and I swear, every time I go to do something, I'm like missing something. It's like unbelievable the amount of time I spend at Dollar Tree, and I am still missing things. Alright, so we're going to put those right here, like so. Oops, I need another piece of my tape. And then all we have to do is put on the cornflowers. Whoops. Okay. Come on, fingers. There we go. All right. They're just so pretty. All right, and I took two of the cornflowers. I was going to leave these leaves on here. They just did not look right, so I just cut those off. Um, you don't need a real long stem on these. I just kind of took these and I bent them up a little bit so they're going to face forward instead of straight up in the air, like so. Let me get another piece of my tape here. And then I'm going to put wire on it to attach it. Or you could use uh, zip ties if you want to. Somebody suggested that one day to me and I thought that's a wonderful idea. Um, but I just want these down here towards the bottom, like so. And then I'm just going to tape them together. 
And there we go. So that did come out pretty good. And then I'm going to cut all these little ends off here because I don't need these. I want my other thing in the middle there. Um, I don't want these sticking out. There. So these will be down towards the bottom. I want to make sure I have my big lumpy thing in there in the center. But I'm going to attach one and then I want to see exactly how far apart that I need to um, attach these <clears throat> with my flower. I actually wanted to put one of the red, white, and blue metal trucks that they had, which I thought I had. See, this is what happens. I thought I had an extra one of those, so I didn't pick up another one. I don't. So we're going to use this, because I did have these that I haven't used up yet, so we're just going to use these flowers. There. All right. So that is going to get attached right here. And now the zip tie idea I want to try because I think that is a wonderful idea. You can usually find packs of these at Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm going to see how that's going to work for me here. And I can zip tie this right on the top because that flower is going to go on the top of this. So you're not going to see this zip tie at all. So let's see. And I think I may just wire the top part of it. But that is so much easier. And I wish I remember who told me. They gave it, told me that in the comments that one day because I love this idea of the zip ties. But you remind me if you were the one that told me. All right, so then this is going to go right in the center there. So this is just so easy to do. So this needs to go right about there. So we'll just zip tie this on here. <coughs> I think it's getting ready to rain out here. It's getting very, very dark out. So get that a nice tug. And I'm going to put another underneath um, some of these flowers here so they don't flop over. But yeah, the zip tie idea is wonderful. All right, so let's see. I'm going to pull these up. Maybe I want to pull them down. I don't know. Let's see. Oops. That fern's got to get back in there. All right. So maybe I'll put these actually around the bottom of these red flowers. Sorry, I'm just trying to work this zip tie in here. Whoops, I have it backwards. So that'll hold that there. Perfect. Love it. That's too easy. All right, where's my scissors? And if you're going to cut the zip ties, you're better off using the wire cutters. These are my old, gucked up, sticky scissors that I just use them for whatever. But yeah, that's going to hold that just fine. All right, let me make sure we're still, all right, good. And then I'm just going to hook this one the same way here. I'm going to grab another zip tie. And I'm just going to go underneath here and get around the bottom here again. Just kind of around the red ones and the ferns. There we go. And that should hold them just fine. And you can't see the zip ties at all. They're underneath. And now right here, I'm just going to take this little guy here. And I'm hoping I can just kind of like wrap it around that to anchor it a little bit so it doesn't slide on me anywhere and get it nice and straight. So let me flip that over. Let me see if I can get this right. I'm just going to wrap that around here a little bit. Put this one this way to anchor that a little better. I don't know if I'm going to have to wire it again, but we'll see. But I think that should hold it just fine. And there we go. And that is all I'm going to do to this. This is it. I just thought I wanted to make a simple little bicycle wheel. I'll just hang this up here, guys. I mean, if you want to add more to this, if you wanted to put, like I said, this in the center would be pretty cool. But I just wanted to really see, I got stuff all stuck to my yarn here, I'm going to have to clean off. 
But let me clean this off here. I'm going to hang this up and then I'll take a nice shot of this at the end of this video. So, oh, I forgot to mention how I was going to hang it. You could hang this like on a regular wreath hanger. What I'm going to do probably is to hook something here, let's see, probably right here to make it so it doesn't fall down this way and hook it right to the um, one of these spokes here. Maybe just a piece of like jute or something behind there or if I can find some black string. I don't think I have black string. I don't want to use this. I think that'll look funny. But you could use just a regular wreath holder if you wanted to and it would hang just fine. So I just wanted to mention that. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little project. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day everyone.